In this video, you'll meet the airplane. I'll pull it outside and we'll go around the exterior and then we'll go inside the cockpit right after this. Plane is a 1976 Cessna 150M. Got the Continental O200A engine. Produces 100 horsepower. And we'll just walk around here and take a good look. One of the first things you'll notice is the paint scheme on this one. Uh, when it came out in 1976, Cessna did this paint scheme. I will include a brochure here on the video for you to look at from this uh, promotion. So. Plane's in overall excellent shape for its age. Don't know if you can see it here, but we'll look on the other side when we get around here. On the tail here, uh, you can see the outline. The words "takeoff" was on the tail as part of this paint scheme. One of the previous owners has uh, removed them, but. That's where they would have been. Overall, great airplane. Uh, it's not going to get you anywhere fast. It's very economical. Sips the fuel. Uh, you can fly low and do some sightseeing. Take your time getting there and have a great time with this airplane. If you're looking to get there the fastest, then there are other airplanes that are better suited for that mission. But this one's great for leisure flying. Now let's take a look inside. And inside, the first thing you'll notice is the one upgrade that I've done to the airplane is this uh, G5 here. We'll turn it on, show you what that looks like. But otherwise, the panel's the way it was. So the G5's been a great addition. One of the worst problems with these airplanes is the panel in the uh, taking night flights, the panel is very dark. You have to wear a red headlamp, uh, which I still wear the red headlamp to check the gauges and correlate, but most everything you need to fly is right here on this G5, so it makes it great at night for visibility and for checking everything all in one place. Got your airspeed, your altitude, uh, horizon, your turn coordinator. It's just all right there, so it's a great addition to this plane. Good radios, a good Garmin 327 transponder. Everything functions well. This uh, Geo Pilot AV map was in the plane when I got it. I'm not too fond of it for uh, GPS positioning. I'll use a four flight on the iPad when I fly. So. the seats here have been redone in leather at some point in their life they're very comfortable uh, somebody did a great job of making them comfortable so works out great here's the uh, standard 150 baggage compartment here
maximum capacity is 120 pounds in the baggage compartment. Of course, that is also dependent on your weight and balance. If you've got the room left to put that much back there, typically you don't. So, But yeah, that's the inside of the plane. We'll take one more look at the outside. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and if you got any information on the Cessna takeoff promotion uh, that's displayed in the video or uh, you just want to discuss your uh, Cessna 150s, just uh, leave a comment below and please subscribe so you'll get notified of the next video coming out shortly. Thanks.